We physicists have held up 100 years starting around 1916 for this photo, it is a district where dark openings may very well be one of the most intriguing and secretive peculiarities in the universe. They are huge monsters as far as power and yet practically imperceptible to us. A dark opening gauging may be 2 to 4 million times the mass of the sun. As a result of the examination contributed over the last years, we have gone from knowing literally nothing about them to finding out increasingly more very close and individual. Keeping in mind that things have simply gotten more insane, Kaku has declared that we at long last got to check what's back to front a dark opening. This new data sheds light on subtleties the universe of science could have missed from the start. Go along with us as we dig further into dark openings and divulge what's inside. Space is immense, however, what are dark openings? Before we dive into the subtleties of what Kaku backed down, we need to examine the nuts and bolts. Albeit most of us have some thought of what dark openings are, there are still holes in our grasping. In 1916, Albert Einstein published his hypothesis of general relativity, which anticipated the presence of dark openings. Around then, the idea was absolutely hypothetical, it took another 50 years for established researchers to track down proof of their reality, which occurred during the 1960s. Specialists examining the Cygnus group of stars saw a strangely radiant blue star discharging X-rays. This star wasn't stale, it was circling a Goliath dark object. Upon additional examination, it was observed that the X-rays were being sucked into this item, hence the term dark opening was begot. This disclosure was critical because it demonstrated that dark openings were not only an illusion of Einstein's creative mind but a genuine substance in space that we earnestly needed to find out about. Scientists around the world began to concentrate on this dark opening named Cygnus X1, situated in the Cygnus heavenly body, around 6,000 light-years from Earth. It was multiple times more brilliant than the sun and amazingly thick, with such a solid gravitational pull that not even light could escape from it, therefore, it is known as a dark opening. The idea of a dark opening is both interesting and unnerving, a local of space where gravity is so solid that nothing, not even light, can circumvent it. Whatever gets excessively near a dark opening won't be maneuvered into it ever to be seen again. This peril makes it considerably more critical to learn everything there is to be familiar with them. Later, finding Cygnus X1, researchers began looking for other dark openings and found there might be nearly more than 100 million dark openings in the Milky Way alone. In light of the fact that they are so unimaginably difficult to identify, we still don't have a precise number. By the by, it shows up there are a few million dark openings in our very universe, making them significantly more vital to concentrate on. The principal worry with dark openings is generally gravity. Their gravitational force is extraordinary to such an extent that anything entering it packs down cosmically until it turns into a peculiarity. In less complex terms, dark openings resemble inestimable vacuum cleaners that suck everything in. Quite possibly one of the most unnerving parts of dark opening exploration is that if somebody somehow managed to fall into one, they would be extended into a solitary line. This interaction would happen gradually, and the individual would kick the bucket before the last structure sets in, so how about we simply say nobody ought to step into one? Anyway, since they are all over, might we at some point truly be in harm's way? Notwithstanding the nearest dark opening being 500 light years away, it is still close enough to bring up issues and concerns. In 2021, researchers had the option to deliver the first clear photo of a dark opening, specifically, the M87 dark opening. This dark opening was captured over several evenings in succession, and with each photo, the scientists assembled more proof. They needed to fasten the individual photographs together to make a complete picture, uncovering that there are three layers to a dark opening, it's not only one single expanding opening of nothingness, as many individuals accept. The cycle includes enduring the initial two layers prior to arriving at the nothingness part. The first layer is known as the event horizon, when you pass this point, there is no turning around, you will be sucked into the dark opening. The subsequent layer is the photon sphere, where light circles the dark opening, any light entering this district will be caught and incapable to get away from the dark opening's gravitational pull. At last, we come to the third layer, the singularity. This is where all that enters the dark opening gets packed until it turns into a singularity, a point in spacetime where the laws of physics as we probably are aware of them separate, and we can't foresee what occurs next. The density at the singularity is boundless, and the laws of physics stop existing. What makes all of this vastly more terrible is that every single dark opening studied will be altogether not quite the same as the last, they will quite often follow a similar three-layer idea, yet the manner in which they function can be incomprehensibly different. Typically, studying such singularities would include bouncing back on telescopes and seeing exhaustively, yet with dark openings, this isn't plausible. 
researchers can concentrate on dark openings by implication, by noticing the radiation they emit and the gas and dust encompassing them. Sending a probe-like Voyager into a dark opening is inconceivable, since anything that enters the event horizon is pulled towards the singularity where it is compacted to an endlessly small point. Accordingly, we can't squander billions of dollars on probes that would simply be squashed into nothingness. Researchers are left with no decision except for to concentrate on these items in a two-dimensional way, despite the fact that they are three-dimensional peculiarities. To make matters significantly more challenging, each dark opening is extraordinary, and the laws of physics separate while investigating within. This implies customary strategies for logical requests don't actually apply to dark opening investigations. However, scientists haven't been inactive. There are quite a large number of hypotheses and clarifications about dark openings. One convincing hypothesis is that they are made from falling stars. At the point when a star depletes all its fuel, it can never again produce sufficient energy to balance gravity, making it collapse in on itself and possibly turn into a singularity. To comprehend the nature of dark openings top to bottom, NASA researchers directed their concentration toward the center of the galaxy M87. Astronomers noticed the strong whirlpool of very hot hydrogen gas turning at a shocking pace of 1.2 million miles per hour. The sheer power of the turning plate of gas ought to have made it fly apart, yet it didn't. Researchers reasoned that an epic mass gathered at the focus of the galaxy kept this from happening. This monstrous object, weighing as much as 2 to 3 billion suns, could just be a dark opening. However, that is not the only hypothesis. In 1963, New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr utilized Einstein's conditions to depict a turning dark opening, suggesting that it wouldn't implode into a point but maybe form a ring of fire or a slight circle. This turning plate of matter, called the ergosphere, is the district encompassing the dark opening where the laws of physics begin to separate. Kerr's equation moreover anticipated the presence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge or wormhole, a hypothetical entry through spacetime that associates two separate districts of the universe or even two parallel universes. Assuming one were to fall into a dark opening, rather than being squashed, they might be sucked down a passage through the ring of fire and shot out of a white hole in an equal universe. To figure out how this functions, consider the concept of spacetime. In Einstein's hypothesis, existence is interconnected, forming a four-dimensional texture called spacetime. Objects with mass twist this texture, creating a gravitational field that makes different objects move towards them. Envision a piece of paper addressing spacetime, on the off chance that you place two focuses on the paper and define a boundary between them, it represents how objects travel through spacetime. If you could overlap the paper in half to create a shortcut between the two focuses, this represents a wormhole, an easy route through spacetime that associates two far-off focuses in a flash. Wormholes aren't simply a science fiction idea, they are a prediction of general relativity, albeit nobody has noticed one straightforwardly. Wormholes are innately unstable and would implode very quickly. The presence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge would mean dark openings are not simply grandiose vacuum cleaners but could likewise be gateways to different locals of spacetime. Might we at some point use a wormhole to go through space and time? Sadly, the response is likely no, not yet. Regardless of whether we could stabilize a wormhole, it is improbable we could utilize it to travel quicker than light. Einstein's hypothesis of extraordinary relativity predicts that the speed of light is an outright breaking point on how quick anything can go through spacetime. Regardless of this, the hypothesis of wormholes and dark openings as pathways to different pieces of the universe or various times has intrigued physicists for quite a long time. The thought of alternate routes through spacetime, permitting traversal significant stretches or into the past, could be revolutionary if attainable. The Kerr wormhole, named after Roy Kerr, is quite possibly one of the most charming ideas in this field. It is a speculative passage through spacetime that could interface two far-off focuses, like various universes or different times within a similar universe. The Kerr wormhole is ring-shaped, like the mirror in Alice in Wonderland, where going through it could possibly transport a Voyager to one. More aspect. This captivating, if troublesome, thought prompts one more enthralling chance, might dim openings at any point be the way to time travel? There is no verification that wormholes are navigable or even exist, yet their chance captivates logical personalities. Because of the difficulties in noticing dark openings straightforwardly, astronomers should depend on indirect measurements of the radiation that encompasses these zones and simulate the properties of dark openings in lab environments. They utilize numerical models, test hypotheses with molecule colliders, and use advanced software to anticipate how dark openings work. These examinations have given us more understanding of what is happening inside. 
Through refined lab models, a gathering at Princeton College reenacted the radiation and material environment encompassing a dark opening, uncovering that it's an attractive and magnetic arena that continues to grow and extend, trapping all that comes near. By breaking down the radiation being sucked into these attractions, we get closer to clarifying how they develop over time. Dark openings are tremendously unique cosmic phenomena with captivating implications for physics, astronomy, and possibly even philosophy. They're not just the universes do not enter signs, they're rich with scientific puzzles that have the potential to alter our understanding of time, space, and existence itself, 